Hi, welcome back everyone. After doing all this request session validation stuff, we're finally reaching the point where it, I think, makes sense to store some data, to, well, manipulate some data, to do more with the data than just dumping it after each of our dummy requests. So we'll introduce a database on the server. Now, Node.js often used with MongoDB, together with MongoDB, but you can use it just fine with SQL databases as well. But in this video, we will have a look at how we install MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database. So let's get started. On the MongoDB homepage, mongodb.org, we just download a MongoDB. Just pick your operating system, hit the download button here. You don't need to fill out this form. Then just save it wherever you want and let the download finish. See you in a second. Okay, my download just finished. Now I'm extracting this and this just happened on another window. Let me bring this in. And now I'm inside the extracted folder here. This is how this will look like. You have this binary folder and some other files. Now in this binary folder, you have the things you will use to work with, with MongoDB. So on Windows, you have several executable files. On Mac, you can run these files via the bash command or by the terminal. And it's uh, this will be, for example, MongoD will be a server you start up. Mongo will be the client with which you connect to the server. But why talk about it? Let's see this in action. You may copy this whole file, this whole folder, excuse me, to where whichever location you want on your operating system. So store it where you want. It doesn't have to be in your downloads folder. Just be sure to navigate to the right folder when you're using it later in the terminal, for example. So in my case here, let me open a terminal. And here I navigated into my MongoDB binary folder. On Windows, you may just run the executable on Mac or Linux. What I do is I run dot slash MongoD to start our Mongo server. And now it's running and as you can see, it's not exiting here because, well, it's continuing to run. Now I will open a second terminal window. By the way, all the installation process is already finished. This is just to show you how it works. And in this window, I'll also navigate it into this MongoDB folder. So in here, I'll also ex uh, navigate into the bin folder. Here I will run Mongo. Oops, dot slash mongo, which is the client. Let me arrange this nicely here. And now on the right, I got the server running. I'm not doing anything there. And on the left, I have the client. Now, of course, later in our Express app, we will let uh, Node or Express handle this. But just to show you how you generally work with Mongo. Inside my client, which is connected to the server I got running on the right, I can type db to see the current database I'm on. And this is a test database which ships with MongoDB. And here we can just, well, test some things, try out some things. So what I'll do here is I want to insert something new. I do this by typing db, which refers to this test database, then dot, and now I will specify the name of the collection which I want to use. MongoDB doesn't have tables, it has collections. Because it's a NoSQL database, it has this JSON formatted approach and well, therefore we talk of collections. Let's say I have a collection data. And here, let's say I want to enter the username. I would do this by accessing my data collection with the dot notation on my database, then dot insert, and then I insert my JSON object. So for example, it has username, oops, name, max. Close the object, close the parentheses, hit enter. And now you can see we wrote one entry to the database. In order to see that data, I can also query db.data.find with empty parentheses to see all the objects I have in my database. In this case, only the username. And as you can see, there was an ID automatically added to this entry, a unique ID. So, and that's that for this video. Of course, you can do a lot more. You can 
execute all the operations you want in your database root database root command shell or command line here but we will do this in node of course just wanted to show you how to set it up how it works that you got this server and client and the server the right terminal window is something we'll keep running for our development because we need that server and we're developing on our local machine at the moment. But the client is something we won't need in the future because we are not using this command line client or this MongoDB shell client, but instead we will use Express and the respective uh, MongoDB package. See you in the next video where we will actually do this. Bye.